against Mutant. Here's the pitch for Mutant. And no pitch there as the balk is called. And Burdette will take second base. That was very subtle if it was a balk. Mutant not really sure why that was called. But that would count as a no pitch. Because the balk happened before the pitch. So Burdette at second with one out. Now a good opportunity for the Red Sox here. Newton not really sure why that was called a balk, but he will reset here. No count in this at bat so far. Here's the first pitch of the at bat, and that's a strike taken. It's 0-1. Pitch for Mutant, swing and a miss. Strike two, more off speed stuff for Mutant. That was the second block called in this game. Both against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Could avoid more of that. And get out of this inning here. Here's the 0-2 pitch. That's grounded. Might be trouble and it's gonna go foul. Luckily for the Maple Leafs because Ashbury Heath was going to make it to first base if that had stayed fair. Count still 0-2 here. Newton trying to get out of this. Still only one out. Runner on second. Ashbury Heath at the plate. 0 yeah. 2 pitch outside. <laughs> we saw earlier this game DeAndre Ashbury Heath with some power in that bat. Here's the 1 2 pitch and swing and a miss. Strike three, Mutant gets him, and there are two away. Big out there for the Maple Leafs. That'll bring up the designated hitter, Daniel Jagdale. And Jagdale, we've mentioned it throughout this game. A 346 average coming into this game. So a dangerous hitter here again for the Red Sox. Maple Leafs trying to get out of this without giving up a run. Here's the first pitch of the at-bat. Another off-speed pitch, a little high for ball one. Here's the pitch for Mutant. That's taken low, it's ball two. Two O pitch on the way. That's taken for strike one. Here's the pitch to Jack Dale. Swing and a miss way in front of that one. Newton's off-speed stuff really fooling these Red Sox batters so far this inning. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Fastball just misses the outside corner. The count goes full. Three two pitch outside ball four. Jagdale reaches. And that'll bring up David Mendham. Number 28, third baseman, David Mendham. Mutant 
was in control that last at bat. But he let a few pitches get away from him, and Jag Dale is on first base. New count now to David Mendham. Strike one. First and second, two out. Here in the bottom of the sixth inning for the Brantford Red Sox. Maple Leafs trying to get out of this unscathed. They step off the rosin bag and or step off the mound, excuse me, and here comes the 0 1 pitch from Mutant. Another off speed pitch just misses that outside corner. One one pitch on the way. Grounded foul goes off of Mendham's helmet. Mendham gonna regroup, step back into the box here. Counts now one and two. Maple Leafs trying to get out of this. Here's the one two pitch. That's in the dirt. Two and two. Greg Carrington due up for the Maple Leafs in the top of the seventh, and then we'll go back to the top of the order. So a chance for the Maple Leafs so they can get out of this. If it stays a tie game, here's the 2 2. Fouled off. Mendham making the Maple Leafs work for it. And here's the 2 2 again. Another off speed pitch, but he just gets a piece of it. Off speed really fooling the Red Sox, but Mendham stays alive there. Newton throwing a lot of pitches in this at bat, trying to get out of it. And here's the 2 2 pitch. Just missed. Count goes to 3 and 2. Newton was ahead of this, ahead of Mendham as well. But he's worked the count full. Three, two, two out. Ball four, and the bases are loaded. And Newton has gotten himself into a bit of trouble here. Here comes Nate D'Souza. Dead at third, Jack Dale at second, end of it first, Nate D'Souza the batter. Two out here. Here's the first pitch to D'Souza. And Burdett trying to push the envelope a little bit, took a big lead from third, but he goes back. Here's the 1 0 pitch, and it's strike one. <laughs> A tight one here in Brantford. Monday! Maple Leafs trying to, still trying to get out of this sixth inning. Here's the 1 1 pitch, and it's away for ball two. Two one pitch coming. 
And it's three and one. That one in the dirt. There's nowhere to put D'Souza. Newton not, doesn't want to walk in the go-ahead run here. Here comes the 3-1 pitch. And check swing. Um, home plate umpire says he went around. And the count will go full for the third straight batter here. 3-2, two, two outs. All the runners are going to be moving. Here comes the pitch from Mutant. Runners go. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Mutant gets out of it. He gets to Souza chasing. And the Maple Leafs escape a big jam here in the bottom of the sixth. So to the top of the seventh we go. The Maple Leafs looking to take the lead. It's a 2-2 tie in Brantford. Seventh, a new pitcher for the Brantford Red Sox. Jose Batista's day is done after six innings. New pitcher, left-hander, number 33, Kurt Horn. Both teams sticking with new left-handed pitchers in this one. Horn will throw his warm-up pitches. Greg Carrington due up first in this one. We'll have one last warm-up pitch here before we get this seventh inning started. So here's Greg Carrington, the number nine hitter for the Toronto Maple Leafs in this one. 2-2 Two -two tie in the top of the seventh inning. Kurt Horn into the game here. His first pitch of the game. And he looks like he overthrew that one. Goes into the dirt. And toward to the backstop. Look out 1 0 to Carrington. The next pitch from Horn, that's fouled off. Maple Leafs trying to break through here. They haven't scored since the first inning. And that one looks like it got a piece of Greg Carrington or 
Actually, it looked like it got the umpire there. He's got to shake it off. And he's going to come take a look at the umpire. Looked like he got it right off the hand. Taking a look at him there, we'll see if we can. <laughs> and taking a look at the home plate umpire there, it looked like he got it right off the hand. Get some water. And he'll come. He'll go out to get it looked at. We get it bandaged up here. And we'll get this game started again in just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Warming up here as we wait for the umpire to return here. Next up for the Maple Leafs, they play on Friday in London. They head to Labatt Park to take on the Majors. And after that, on Sunday, they'll be back at Christie Pitts for an afternoon game, taking on these Brantford Red Sox. Always a fun time at Christie Pitts on Sunday afternoon, and the best part of Maple Leafs baseball is home games are free. You pay no admission to get into Maple Leafs home games at Christie Pitts Park. Hope to see you all there. And the umpires have returned, and we're gonna get this game back underway here. Pick up this at bat with Carrington. The count is two and one. Running for Toronto is number 15, Greg Carrington. And Horn is ready to go again. The umpire is ready as well. So a brief delay here, but we're back in action in the top of the seventh. Here's the pitch. And that is taken for strike two. So a 2 2 count here. To the number nine hitter, Greg Carrington. Here's the 2 2 pitch. High for ball three. Mm -hmm. 
Trying not to get the speedy Carrington on base of the Red Sox. Here's the 3-2 pitch, and that's fouled off. Here's the 3-2 to Carrington. That's in the dirt. Ball four. Carrington will reach here. So the leadoff man is aboard for the Maple Leafs. Top of the order coming back up here. Grant Tamani. Second baseman number 10, Grant Tamani. So Tamani will step in here. Trying to break this 2-2 tie. Carrington going, here's the throw over to second, he slides in this time and he gets, and he's safe and the ball goes into center field so Carrington's going to head to third. So he steals second and reaches third on the throwing error. And now a runner at third with nobody out for the Maple Leafs. So the speed of Carrington paying off there for the Maple Leafs, exactly why you didn't want to get him on base, why you don't want to walk the number nine hitter. Now you have to deal with the top of the order, runner on third, nobody out. That's taken high. One one pitch from Horn. Away for ball two. Here's the two one pitch. Away for ball three. Tamani being selective here. After walking the leadoff man in the inning, might as well be a little bit selective. Here's the 3-1 pitch, taken for strike two. So the count goes full. Full count, 3-2 pitch on the way. Ball four away. So Tamani reaches. That'll bring up Hornestad. And we have a mound visit here. Andrew wants to talk to Horn. <clears throat> Hornestad on deck. 